Uh, everybody just showing off a couple of uh, pieces I've done inspired by the film uh, Purge Anarchy which I saw a week ago and I absolutely loved I mean uh, certainly loved it better than the first film which I admit had its moments but um, it's kind of a letdown but uh, this one certainly did not disappoint uh, I will say this though uh, the premise in itself is pretty um, hokey when you consider it. I mean, uh, 12 hours of free crime, I mean, it's just, you know, something doesn't really add up, of course. But uh, if they can make something entertaining out of that, you know, concept like uh, this film did, uh, I certainly didn't mind it. But, uh, of course, uh, what really inspired me is uh, this gang in itself, which uh, you've seen in all the uh, advertisements and uh, you know, posters and uh, the trailers, of course. Uh, these two motorcycle uh, thuggish characters uh, really did catch my eye, and uh, I won't spoil anything. But you do kind of uh, find out who uh, or what they're all about uh, in the film. So, uh, so I'll, I'll reveal. And uh, interestingly enough. Uh, this uh, particular character here, uh, all over the uh, advertisements as well, uh, I'll just call him Ghoulface. Uh, uh, I found him out on Facebook, and he was a really nice guy, so uh, part of that sort of uh, pro prompted me to uh, make these, uh, especially this one. So, uh, I forgot what his name was. Oh, yeah, it was uh, Emmanuel Howell. Uh, Anyway, really nice guy, so, uh, so uh, Emmanuel, if you're watching this, I uh, hope you like these. Um, you're really good in this film, so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I was pretty uh, inspired by uh, the concept uh, around the world of The Purge, so, uh, of course, I had the uh, American flag in the background just to uh, give this idea a uh, patriotic feel, <laughs> so uh, uh, it was pretty cool uh, researching all these characters uh, and their designs. Uh, this one in particular kind of caught my eye. Uh, of course, he's one of the first you see uh, in uh, the trailer, or at least the first, the very first trailer. Uh, motorcycle rider, of course, with uh, I think it's a uh, fencing mask with uh, the mouth cut out. Uh, I've seen uh, scarier looking fencing masks without any modifications, but uh, this one really caught my eye, so uh, it's kind of a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> and of course, a god mask. And uh, this one still kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of still makes me ask questions what that is. So people have said that was a paintball mask with, uh, you know, goggles and a, a chain for a mouth. Which you know, kind of answers a few things for me, but I don't know. And of course, uh, this particular guy who, uh, the biggest thing you'll notice about him, he has a, uh, you know, big mouth sort of uh, tattooed under his chin and uh, on his chest. Where you open it up, it looks like a screaming mouth, which is a very nice touch. And especially up top, I don't think you can see all that well. Uh, Phantom of the Opera mask uh, affixed to a uh, skull. Oh, that was pretty cool. And uh, the simplest of the masks, of course, uh, the Goober mask, which uh, is basically uh, the upper face with uh, no jaw, basically. And one side is melted. Oh, well, that was pretty cool uh, old design. Uh, I think this one's my particular favorite, though, because I think just my uh, favorite um, iteration of uh, Little Face here, or Emmanuel Hell. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of just like the uh, posters and everything. Uh, just taking a step further, I think. Anyway, it's pretty cool to uh, do the gang all together and uh, uh, just have my own sort of a manual how poster here for image. But, 
uh, yeah, it's a great film. I mean, definitely check it out. Um, yeah, I guess it's um, all there is to it. So, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, update. And uh, I'll do some more uh, artworks later on, hopefully based on the Purge or Purge Anarchy. So, uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.